A new strain of coronavirus broke out in Wuhan, China in December 2019. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. On January 30, 2020, the Department of Health reported the first case in the Philippines. To address this crisis, I placed the entire country under a state of public health emergency. And on March 7, the first local transmission was confirmed. Many of us felt as if the world stopped as our communities were put in lockdown. The virus, however, did not phase DOSD FBRDI. Since the beginning of lockdown, FBRDI has already distributed roughly 2,500 of these face shields to our frontliners. This technology has been adopted by the local government unit of Kabuyao and the QGM plant nursery and garden in Bataan, among others. Next was the forest-based antimicrobial hygiene products, or the FAHP. Aside from the bar soaps, researchers have also come up with a liquid soap and antimicrobial mist using coconut oil and cinnamon. To address the problem, FBRDI made disposable face masks from durable paper towels. The paper towel samples were first tested for physical properties. Then they were cut, folded, sewn, trimmed, and sorted by size. To ensure sanitation, the masks underwent UV and thermal treatment and were tested for microbial count. Finally, they were distributed to frontliners in the LGU of Los Baños. The latest innovation is the hands-free disinfectant dispenser and foot bath using a baka and bamboo two of the country's most economically important and widely available resources. The dispenser releases alcohol when the connected foot bath is stepped on. Both dispenser and foot bath are made from bamboo, while a baka acts as a sponge for disinfecting footwear that presses on the foot bath. At present, 
FBRDI is conducting a series of webinars and techno transfer initiatives to make sure that all of these technologies benefit as many Filipinos as possible. For instance, the intensified training webinars on bamboo framed face shield technology have been ongoing since September and will last until November of this year. In all training webinars, a three-minute advisory on COVID-19 protocol is shown to remind our audiences to keep each other safe from the virus. One with the Filipino people, FBRDI continues to think of ways to use forest products in the fight against COVID-19.